Hello, Weirdos! I'm Pastor Darren, and welcome to your Daily Undead from the Church of the Undead. Today, our message comes from the Bible study Doing Things That Matter, which I'm following in the YouVersion Bible app. Live differently. Becoming different in a world of vast similarity requires breaking free of the things that hold you down and keep you grounded in the sea of sameness. Think about your life, and I'm certain you can identify things that you've not surrendered but need to. You must possess the courage to let go of the things that anchor you to the safe and familiar. It's time to let go of things that limit your faith. Go ahead and consider areas in your life that need change, areas that you need to let go of by moving on, getting rid of, forgiving, or forgetting. What is that thing, relationship, time consumer, or bitterness that you need to let go of? Perhaps you have a desire to have a certain reputation. Maybe you work too much or spend way too much time on your phone. Maybe things like materialism, greed, jealousy, or anger seem to get in the way of the cross. What do you need to let go of in order to pick up the cross? After all, we are called to carry our cross every day. And to carry the cross, sometimes we have to put something else down. Many times we think we're living for Jesus, but all we're doing is carrying around the same things in this life that everyone else is carrying. So even though we love Jesus, we may not be that different, much less a person who's living the gospel or doing things that matter. Too many people who claim to love Jesus are just dipping their toe into the pool and claiming that they are swimming. Living differently is a cannonball into a pool of endless possibilities that a life with Christ has to offer. The goal isn't to be different. However, following Jesus results in a life that is different. Maybe that's why Peter said we would be like strangers in this world, or why Paul said we should shine like the stars. People may not always understand some of the things faithful followers do or believe, but the hope is that the ways we are different will make a huge difference in this world. What do you need to let go of so you can pick up the cross? Luke 9, verses 23 through 25. And he said to all, If anyone would come after me, let him deny himself and take up his cross daily and follow me. For whoever would save his life will lose it, but whoever loses his life for my sake will save it. For what does it profit a man if he gains the whole world and loses or forfeits himself? If you enjoyed today's message, or if you like the Church of the Undead in general, please tell others about the podcast who you think might also want to join in. You can find links to the podcast, our Facebook page, and more at WeirdDarkness.com slash church. That's WeirdDarkness.com slash church. Thanks for joining me, Weirdos, and until next time, Jesus loves you, and so do I. God bless.